Every year, it's normal to see millions of youngsters determined to pack their bags and go pursuing the dream of being idols. However, it's even more common to see most of them go home halfway for the overwhelming heat and pressure that not only come from the management company, the peers, but also from the trainees themselves. While everyone knows that to become a K-pop star, stand under the limelight, and practicalize the dream of singing and dancing on stage, all idols must have gone through a rigorous process beforehand. Are you confident that you understand exactly what they have to undergo from start to finish? Not to let you wait any longer, let's continue with the video to see the entire process that has always been used to create an all-rounded idol that we usually see. Number 1. The Preparation The very first stage of this journey is, of course, practicing hard for the audition. As the saying goes, practice makes perfect. In a fiercely competitive environment like the K-pop industry, literally all trainees must start the preparation stage from a very young age to ensure that they are in the best condition when presenting to the future company. However, as different companies have for themselves a distinguished checklist that their idol must have, resilience and talents could never guarantee a soft spot for any person. Take Exo Sehun, for example. Even when he was streetcasted by SM Entertainment, he still had to audition for four times before officially signing the training contract with the company. Obviously, he had the look, the talents, and the vibe of an idol, but none of that ensured him a ticket to thriving in the stringent K-pop industry. Number 2. The Audition then comes the audition. When one feels that their preparation is good enough, they will come to the audition, either public or private depending on each person's capabilities, to seek a chance of signing a training contract. While the typical number of rounds for an audition is three, it's also normal to see a person enter up to 30 rounds when different opinions are raised about their capabilities. That's why it's often said that becoming an idol has never been an overnight success. Even IU, the digital music monster, had also faced multiple rejections, including JYP Entertainment, before ending up being a superstar at Lowen Entertainment. A fun fact that could be withdrawn here is that, if you still think Big 3 always knows for sure who will be a successful idol, then I'm sorry, you're wrong. Just look at the way JYP lost IU and EXID's Hani. Things aren't always as clear as black and white, and whether one has the capabilities to lead a sounding career has never been an easy question to answer. Number 3. The Practice Room even though you could get a little closer to the idol dream by signing a training contract, ahead is still a long series of days where you would be buried in the practice room. On the journey, this period is most intense since it's where most trainees drop halfway for the overwhelming pressures and working schedules. However, it's also the ride or die moment that will determine the winners of the game. A typical day of a trainee would evolve around two activities only, learning and practicing. If you think that these companies would only teach vocals and dancing, then you're totally fooled. Unlike most music industries where performers are only trained to perform, K-pop idols not only have their musical qualifications cultivated, but also their personalities, eating habits, and manners. They're even taught about body management so as not to gain weight and receive backlash from the public. Though most idols are still in puberty when joining the management company, they must always follow a strict diet to achieve the standard skinny figure. For example, the diet of SNSD used to make tons of headlines for its stringency. The girls were only allowed to take in 1,500 calories per day, and the range of food must always include brown rice, grilled chicken drumstick, cabbage, green vegetables, and almonds. To ensure that SNSD could always pull off close-fitting garments, this diet even extended for years after their first debut. Because there are so many things that need teaching, entertainment companies, especially those in the big three, are always keen on scouting young faces to make sure the final lineup turns out exactly like what they want. Specifically, by supervising these baby trainees in their puberty, the agency will be able to come up with different methods that could mold them into whoever the future concept may require. On average, the amount of time a trainee must spend practicing ranges from 16 to 18 hours, which basically means that they will start around 9 or 10 a.m. and end at 2 or 3 of the following morning. As the former member of After School, Behak, once shared, she used to sleep for only 30 minutes per day due to the pack schedule and the fear of being left behind. Besides the intense frequency of practice, the type of sessions that K-pop trainees take is also a literal nightmare. To ensure the future idols have the iron will and good health condition to put up with restless promotions, many companies even apply the training program where idols are forced to hold their breath underwater for minutes. Some agencies even push the bar by pounding a volleyball in the trainee's belly while singing as a method for a stable vocal. Besides the huge amount of physical efforts, trainees also need to pay for the training fee, whose range also varies depending on each company. Usually, this will be around 500,000 to 2 million won per month, the equivalent of $448 to $1,800.
However, if a trainee's financial condition is not so good, but they have the skills, talent, and aura of a successful idol, the management agency will let the person pay back that fee after they debut. While that may sound like a super duper good deal, there's actually an exorbitant price hidden underneath. Since the company had initially paid for the trainee's training programs, music productions, and daily living expenses, idols must then spend a long, long time working without salaries. As to groups that unfortunately can't attract enough public attention, they will probably need to spend the rest of their life working just to erase the training debt. One of the most typical cases is that of Lovelies, the girl group debuting under Wu Lim Entertainment in 2014. According to the members, no one was paid a penny despite having worked in the industry for four years. Since the amount of investment poured into the girls was way too big, Lovelies was still in the process of debt deduction. Ironically, despite the endless list of things that a trainee must sacrifice in exchange for the idol dream, nothing about their future is guaranteed. Take Twice's Chihyo, for example. Despite having the visuals, the vocals, and especially the resilience to stay at JYP Entertainment for 10 years, she must sit still and watch Wonder Girls and Miss A debut before it's finally her turn. If you've watched the survival show 16, maybe you would know how miserable and depressed Chihyo had been. Because of anxiety, she was diagnosed with eating disorder, which then led to her gaining tons of weight before entering the show. However, there are also many stars who were scouted in the street and just trained for a little while before kicking off their idol career. For instance, EXO's Pakyeon was not only street casted by SM Entertainment, but also had an incredibly short period of training, only four months. Number four, the elimination. Though it's not 100% necessary for all idols to undergo this stage, due to the packed schedule at the company, most of them would opt for dropping out. Obviously, this is a relatively rational decision because who could spend time studying when 18 out of 24 hours are already set for practicing? No one for sure. Besides having to halt the academic path, this decision also leads to many other adverse consequences related to the idol's family, friends, and even themselves. Hoya, the former member of Infinite, once shared that when he decided to quit school at 10th grade to become a full-time student at a dance institution in Busan, he was kicked out of the house by his father. Or the case of Shiny's Tamin, since he managed to be so famous at a very young age, he used to be a victim of bullying due to others' jealousy. The situation was so terrible that four members of Shiny had to take turns to take him to school so that no one could beat him along the way. Sung Yoon, the leader of Winner, also shared that he used to be super jealous of the normal life that his friends led. We can't even do some most basic tasks like booking a hotel room or buying a transportation ticket because our manager will always do everything. That's why we feel so outdated compared to our peers at school. The idol also expressed his discomfort about the way he was managed. We have never been allowed to keep our passport, so freely traveling here and there was always in our wildest dreams. Number five, the exhaustion. Even when a trainee makes their way onto the final lineup and debut, they are still yet to taste the sweetness that they deserve after all those ups and downs. Every year, K-pop welcomes an endless list of new faces, but sadly, it also witnesses the farewell of many rookies due to the fact that they couldn't handle the terrible pressure of this industry. To compete for the attention of the public, idols would continue the restless lifestyle where they will have their head buried in work. In 2012, Shiny's Onu once shared that during their promotions, there were countless nights where they could just close their eyes for a few minutes on the car when it traveled from one workplace to another. In exchange for all the flashy images, explosive reputation, and piles of money, many idols have tortured themselves to the point of collapsing on stage. That also explains why, for a long time, the soulless pictures of many famous idols at the airport have never been a big deal for the public. Number six, the victory. Of all the stages on the journey to become an idol, this is the only period where idols could enjoy the fruits that they have been catering for ages, earning public recognition, becoming famous and rich. When an idol manages to come this far, there is literally nothing on earth that they couldn't get their hands on. Thanks to the whopping number of valuable contracts, filming invitations, and music awards, they can now buy cars, mansions, and even open themselves a chain of businesses. After seven years, Shiny successfully held a concert at the Cathedral of Music, Tokyo Dome, Japan, with 50,000 spots filled just by their fans, Shawols. Or take 21's Minzy, for instance. Debuting at the age of 15 under YG Entertainment, she quickly gained a huge amount of love from the public and managed to buy her parents a house at the age of 19. Though the journey to becoming a successful idol is full of thorns and thistles, as one could turn their life onto a new leaf once managing to take off, there will still be tons of youngsters willing to sacrifice their life in exchange for what this occupation brings about. How about you? 
Would you do the same, regardless of all the dark sides exposed by insiders? Comment down below to share your thoughts with us. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to BeBoss TV, since we'll be back with more intriguing videos. Thank you for watching.